Hello everyone, Lasky here, and I want to bring you a light language video. Um, I haven't been on a few days. I have been kind of taking it day by day, as I'm sure most of us have. Um, I am not quite sure exactly what this video is going to be about. If you've watched me before, uh, thank you for returning. If you're new, welcome. Um, I kind of more get my messages as I begin. Sometimes I know what I'm going to bring through and sometimes I have no idea. I just know that I have to get on and bring something through. So um, I have already connected with Source and Gaia's Ritikutaya, Ritikutista. And when I connected with Source, I got a couple of different things. Um, the first thing that I saw, I was surrounded by a big ball of light and I kind of breathed the light into me um, for a few breaths, really kind of let it sink in. And as I uh, located Source, and the way I see Source is I see um, Source is like a hole in the sky and I know that Source is through this opening. I saw uh, the opening and as I started to go up from the cord in my, um, my heart chakra, I took it up towards source. I began seeing, the first thing I saw was, I believe Jesus at the opening and he was wearing like a white robe kind of floating above the opening and I began to see angels appear on the side and on each side of me. And I immediately got, you're not alone. And um, at the time I was thinking, usually uh, most of the time I'll see Archangel Michael by the opening and that's really it. And as I was going up and I started seeing all these angels appear, I was thinking how um, not very common it was for me to, to see so many kind of popping up. And that's when I got, um, you're not alone or you're never alone. Even when I don't see them, they're there. So that was kind of the message I was getting through. I did um, connect with Source. As I had my opening or my cord through the Source opening, I did see the color blue. And the first thing when I saw that, I thought Archangel Michael because he comes to me in the color blue. But immediately at following that, the blue kind of transitioned into water. And I saw water kind of um, rushing up on the sides of me. I could feel it. I could hear almost like waves. I'm not really sure what that was about. Um, I got more, maybe it had to do with the element water than say an actual body of water. Um, like pulling me to a certain location. It was just more of the element. I let this really kind of um, take over. I really let the sound of the, the waves and the sound of the water kind of moving and just all of it really kind of sink into me. I didn't try to overanalyze it too much. I just let it be. Uh, when, I, when I felt it was right, I did take the um, cord from my root chakra down into Gaia, into the middle of Gaia, and I wrapped around her crystal heart. When I did this, I got the color gold. But the, the water did not go away, the color didn't, the sound, it was still there. When I saw the gold, it turned from the color gold to almost like, like a gold foil. Um, I got very thin, very fragile, delicate. It's like when I saw the color gold and I, and I saw this foil, I almost wanted to feel it and felt as if I were to touch it, it would almost dissolve in my fingers. I'm not really sure what this is about. I, I speak what I see. Um, it may not resonate with me. It may not resonate with 99% of who's watching this, but it will resonate with somebody or somebody will know the meaning behind this. Uh, I did take the color gold, um, very delicate color. I kept getting delicate. Um, I took it up into me. Um, I let it go through the chakras into my body, breathed it in a few times really letting the water and the gold kind of circulate through me. And I took it back up to source and made more of like a, a pillar of water and this gold foil, um, like a like a pillar of it through me. And it was connecting me with the 
the center of Gaia up to source Jutukunda Vadakatishta. And I keep getting this, um, as I'm talking about, I'm getting almost, not like, not like a tornado, but almost like I'm circling around this pillar. Jotakunda, Avanta, Njdom, Jotakutote, Anda, Votista, Etikete, Jutuku, Otikete, Stesti. And, um, I really feel like I, I got this, uh, I, I brought this black tourmaline with me. Grounding seems to be a big thing that I'm trying to do in, in this very moment right now. I felt pretty grounded the last few days. I've been outside a lot, doing a lot of yard work during the day when I'm not doing school or helping my kids with school. So I'm not really, I, I'm not sure if the message of this video is to ground or it's for grounding or this light language is going to help ground you, but I do feel like grounding is a, a part of it. I am getting Gaia stepping in. Gaia has come to me a lot and that's one main reason too why I think I'm staying outside a lot is I'm really feeling like I need and not necessarily just me needing to be there for Gaia but wanting to be close to Gaia. And I really feel like this is kind of Gaia coming in. I'm getting kind of um, a tribal type feel with this, so I'm not really sure what that has to do um, with it's Gaia or something. Maybe um, inner earth coming through for Gaia. とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、とと、と
activations kind of it's just it's clicking everything into place as it should be and I'm really getting something with the crown. I'm not getting this crown. I'm getting, um, I'm getting uh, the chakra above the crown. The I think it's the soul star chakra. For some reason, my mind is just not wanting. It's like I'm. I'm seeing it in my mind. I just cannot speak it for some reason. Okay, big exhale. When I do that, that's kind of more of like a purging of me. I'm like bringing stuff out. And it could even be out of you. Okay, I'm, uh, it's kind of hard for me to hear that feeling. I'm feeling back here. And this is where I feel my connection. This is where I feel like everything comes through for me. Is I, I really get sensations back here. And I'm really kind of being drawn to that right now. Um, not just for me. I think it's for, for y'all. Um, okay. Uh, I'm getting almost like a pyramid. Like here, here, here. It's like, it's making like a pyramid over the head. Almost like an antenna. I, this is going to be. Open it up for y'all. Possibly. I'm getting like immune system again. For some reason. Um, maybe. Uh, I feel like almost like it could be coming. Through. You may see signs of these activations. Through the immune system. So, much like different activations that come through, you get the flu-like symptoms, um, headaches. I really feel like headaches for this because it's going to be so much the head fogginess, like slight vertigo when it comes through. And, and I'm going to pop lock again. So, certain things are going to activate at certain, like at different times, I feel. So, when it starts to activate in you, you may feel it. And this is going to be with like the vertigo or like a headache coming on. Or, or something that's just going to stop you and you're going to be, you're going to notice it. And any other day, you may have not even really paid much attention or you may think, oh, it's a headache or allergies or something. But this is not the case. It's, I'm getting rarely the case on people that are getting activated. These are activations. They're not necessarily, if you've been plagued with a lot of headaches lately, a lot of, I keep getting sinus issues. So it's going to be third eye. Um, um, detention, headaches, just um, migraines, things like this. If you've been getting a lot lately, I feel like there's activations going on here, up here. And it's going to be from here to back here. And this is where I, where I get a lot of stuff coming in is this area here and here. So like think of a bubble over the top of your head. 
If you've been noticing this, I would love to hear it in the comments. Um, if you start noticing this, I would love uh, for you to come back and let me know in the comments. I really get opening up. I'm getting the word bell. Um, maybe like a more of a lifting of the bell. Some people say the bell is completely gone. Even if it is completely gone, we're still slowly beginning to see more and more every day. Um, at least I know I really am. My kids are... Um, the littlest things but over time it's really kind of adding up so even with gifts I'm getting gifts um your gifts may be um opening up even more and I'm getting um dreams so um pay attention to dream time what you're dreaming uh, a lot of things are going to come through during this as well past lives um Things that we're healing right now, I really get that we're healing a lot. Um, having to do with this pandemic, I'm really not sure exactly what it is, but I did watch a wonderful video tonight um, that really did kind of explain a lot about it. And I will leave that link in um, the description as well. Having to do with... Um, just the way that we're viewing um, the pandemic. So uh, much love and many blessings. And I really hope that this video helps you. I hope that it unlocks gifts in you. And I hope that um, it is for your greatest good that um, things come through. So much love, many blessings, and have a wonderful night. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe.